So, well, guys, uh, there is uh, this gentleman called Kiran who has asked me this question. Actually, it's a very simple interview question. So, I thought I will. I thought most of the people would know it. You know, somebody who has taken my courses in and out, they can easily answer this question. Okay. So, but anyways, you know, somebody who has not taken any of our courses, you know, they might. It is a tricky question. Anyways, you know, what is the question is what is the maximum we users who have conducted the test and how many load generators have you assigned? Explain the scenario. Okay. Explain the scenario is a different story. But uh, we will talk. About this and what is the intention of the interviewers usually behind this question? I'll I'll tell you. And after that, you know, we'll discuss more. The 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 intention of the interviewers usually when they ask this question is regarding the memory footprint. Okay. So in my courses, I've clearly explained what is memory footprint. Uh, if you uh, you know memory footprint, I I'm I don't want to go too detailed into it because uh, you know that will consume a lot of my time uh, but i'll quickly tell you okay memory footprint okay is is the memory okay or in layman's language the ram that you have on the system okay memory taken by one virtual user okay so that's what is the memory footprint usually for the http html people say it is about 2 uh, mb okay but again it's little deep the concept because um, you know the first user when lg creates it when lg creates it again you know i'm making lot of assumptions that you know what is a lg what is a process what is a thread okay what is http html protocol you know since you are watching these interview questions obviously i assume that you know all of this okay so that is the reason why i'm skipping few things if you have doubts you can go to you uh, google and search for those key you know uh, search for those things so when lg is when lg creates a virtual user the first virtual user what happens is okay a process is created okay uh, when a process is created it consumes a lot of memory a lot of memory okay probably 10 mg or 10 M, uh, mb or more than that okay uh, but the second user gets created second user gets created uh, created okay in the same process in the same process a thread is created okay so here also okay when the when the lg creates the first user first the process is created okay which consumes a lot of memory then in that a thread is created okay Th thread is created for this for for that one virtual user one virtual user okay then the second user gets created okay when when the second user gets created then again a new process is not created because the process is already created so a new uh, uh, a new process is not created but what happens is a thread is created okay so basically let me take a uh, paint and explain this okay um, again, you know, these are fancy words like thread and process, but you have to do some research, brother. Okay, because I don't can't get into process and thread and start explaining that because it will be a lot of diversion. Okay, so what happens is when the first when the first user gets created, okay, when the first user gets created, okay, uh, when the LG creates the first user, a process is created, okay, which certain memory is consumed, maybe let's say 10 MG, I don't know what is the exact numbers, brother, okay, let's assume 10 MB, and then a thread is gets created, thread usually will be represented by, you know, some sort of line like this, okay, some something like this, a thread is created, and this thread will 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 act as the virtual user or you know this thread will be used for the virtual user now this is for the first virtual user okay this is for the first virtual user okay first virtual user okay now for the second virtual user okay for the second virtual user okay second virtual user since the process is already created okay now all it has to do is just create a new thread okay so it has to just create a new thread okay it has to be a curly like this brother i'm trying to just cop okay let me copy this and create let let me copy this and paste this okay so yes since the process is already created a new thread is created okay for creating every thread maybe like a little amount of memory is required maybe this is 1 mb 
okay i'm again i'm making some random numbers uh, okay you can do more research on this these numbers could be incorrect brother again in my classes if there somebody has purchased my classes i've clearly executed the test on controller and shown this process and exactly shown how much memory it takes and how much memory the process takes how much memory the thread takes exact numbers i have given but here i don't have that at the top of my mind so i'm giving some random numbers okay so the second user you just see a thread is created a process is may not be required so what i'm saying is for the first user uh, considering these numbers are correct 11 mb is required but for the second user just 1 mb is required so like this like third user is created one more thread is created and again just 1 mb is required like this till the 50th user till the 50th user okay same thing will continues same thing will continues for every user and new threads get created and assumes only maybe 0.5 mb or 1 mb is required so on an average if you look at it people say for http again these numbers i'm talking about http html protocol if you're going for a true client protocol or sap gui protocol these numbers will totally change so these numbers will change from protocol to protocol okay these numbers that i've given 10 mb 1 mb okay this changes from protocol to protocol okay uh, protocol and also script to script script to script if the script is okay let's take http html protocol itself okay html protocol itself html protocol okay so <clears throat> if it's a simple script okay the memory footprint that i'm talking which means that for each user how much memory is consumed okay it could be 1 mb okay it could be 1 mb but if you take a very complex script okay it could be 3 mb okay or 4 mb or 5 mb okay so it changes from script to script the complexity of the script as well so here if you look at it the memory footprint could be something close to 1.05 mb or something assuming that these numbers are correct it could be 1.05 mb or 1.51 mb because this 10 mb and this 1 mb if you look at it for 50 users 50 mb plus 10 mb so 60 mb is created so you can say 60 divided by 50 whatever the number is okay 60 divided by 50 okay whatever that number is that is the memory footprint for this one okay let me do the quick math as to how much it is okay <clears throat> okay so 50 users okay divided by 60 okay point uh, no 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 so this is okay it has to be the other way around my bad so 60 mb is what is taken for 50 users so it is close to 1.2 mb it's okay 1.2 mb assuming that these numbers are correct brother but i i don't really remember people usually say okay it is around 2 mb to 2.5 mb the memory footprint for http html protocol okay so html protocol again kumar sir why why you are saying you know pro to call okay again you know kumar sir why you are saying you know of 2.2 to 2.5 mb again i told you right okay it depends upon the complexity of the script as well complexity of the script as well again all i am giving these numbers are like completely dummy numbers brother this is what people say for http html protocol okay again after the 50th user uh, 51st user okay you have invoked then a new then a new process is created altogether because one process can support only 50 users one process can only support 50 users okay so this is what it is so what i am saying is okay when they ask this question what is the maximum number of users that you have created okay what they are expecting you to talk about is the memory footprint so this guy said you know he has answered to 2000 users and he has used 4lg which is kind of correct only because each lg typically will 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 support 500 users again that lg should have min, minimum memory of 16 gb or 32 gb okay so i hope i made myself clear okay somebody is knocking on my door so i have to stop this test stop this stop this video um but i have i have more to explain on this but again you know i'll stop it here i hope it will this video will be useful for somebody thank you so nobody is there at my doorstep so i'll continue this video so how will i answer if 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 i was asked this question how will i answer okay i'll say that okay what is the maximum number of virtual users you have conducted typically 1000 users 1500 concurrent users or 2000 users is with which typically the test are run 2000 is a big number guys typically usually most of my tests that i run is with 700 users to probably 1200 1500 users so i can say that the maximum users that i have tested it with uh, you know probably 1500 users 
somewhere around and how many load generators have you assigned then you then the interviewer is expecting about talking about the memory footprint then you can say that you know see sir my my scripts were uh, see, uh, my scripts were little complex so i have looked at the memory footprint okay it is around 2.5 mb something like that for my http html protocol based on that i did the math and uh, i decided that i needed uh, 3 to 4 lg actually if you do the math um, you know uh, if you do the math how much it will be let's let me open that uh, you know calculator okay so <clears throat> 2.5 mb is what you are telling right so my memory footprint is 2.5 mb which what does what you are telling when you said memory footprint is 2.5 mb one user takes 2.5 mb of memory okay so usually they give 16 gb rams okay 16 gb ram or 16 gb memory okay so which means that 16 gb is what 60 if you convert it to mb 16 multiplied by 1024 okay 1024 mb so if you can do the math it will be somewhere around uh, uh, whatever you know 16 uh, oh, 16 multiplied by 1024 okay uh, is 1 gb right this is 1 gb so let's calculate how much 1 gb will support okay so 1024 divided by 1024 divided by okay 2.5 so whatever that number is 102 Two four divided by two point five. Okay, so around four hundred users. So you are going with the sixteen GB. It is more than enough. Is it right, guys? One six one GB is one zero two four MB. If that is right, then one GB RAM should give you so many users. Um, am I doing something wrong here? Hang on. Let me give. Uh, let me. Let me give one second. One GB two RAM uh, MB. Okay. So thousand megabytes. Actually, it should be one zero two four. Okay. Uh, who said thousand? Okay. One zero two four MB. So uh, in that case, one GB itself will give you okay uh, close to four hundred users. Okay. Uh, so, uh, which means that 16 GB should be more than enough. 16 GB RAM should be more than enough to, uh, you know, to take care of 2,000 users. Okay. Then you can say that just to be on the safe side. Okay, safe side. Okay. I have asked for. I have asked for two LGs. Okay, because you know sometimes one LG fails or you know a lot of issues will happen. So uh, with my calculations, you know one LG should be good enough, assuming that you know the LG has a 16 GB RAM. But just to be on the safe side, I asked for two LGs. Okay, and usually distribute the load across equally on these two LGs is what your answer should be. Because if you are saying this bluntly, saying that you know I have 2,000 users and four LGs, okay, uh, you are not talking about the LG. Uh, what should what is the memory what is the cpu and then you're not talking about the memory footprint okay you're not talking about too many things so and uh, that is the reason why they ask this question okay and then you're talking about memory footprints lgs the capacity the configuration of the lg machines and all that he will be 100 percent convinced that okay you have actually done the work or you are you are an expert in this particular area okay and explain the scenario means you can i think he's talking about the test scenario or he is talking about uh, the scenario of how you have used these users why you have taken this four lgs or two lgs and all that okay or if he's talking about the test scenario you can say that you have you have designed the test for uh, you know the load test or the peak load test uh, where there are 10 scripts and uh, we have done the workload modeling and spread across all these users across these scripts and then uh, uh, you know there is a ramp up ramp down and steady state of one hour and this is how i've created the scenario is something that you can talk about if he's talking about the test scenario but he's talking about the scenario of this maximum users and load generators then whatever i've explained here in the paint if you talk about it it should be more than enough again in the in the video i've i've not taken the right numbers guys here okay so uh, my apologies for that i i want i want to give you a perspective or picture as to what the interviewer expects but these numbers more or less is correct 2 mb to 2.5 mb for http html protocol is is kind of correct you know assuming that the the memory footprint will change from uh, script to script 
okay i hope this this video helps you um, you know in your interviews you can do more research as to what should be the memory footprint for http html protocol and all that okay and if you answer this one uh, the interviewer should be more than enough but you what you have to do is you have to get these numbers right by actually executing the test and looking at from the task manager which i have explained in my actual classes how to get the actual footprint by running the test and all that or you can do the uh, you know you, you can do your own homework okay or if you want me to execute it let me see what i can do hang on let me run a test and see what should be the memory footprint and all that i have a time no guys i have to go somewhere so maybe if some uh, somebody puts the comments on this video saying that you wanted that as well i'll create a, a continuation video for this and post it uh, uh, you know at the later point of time good luck guys good luck with your interviews thank you